Star Wars news. That the Mandalorian and Grogu are coming to the big screen very soon. Uh, John Farrow is, of course, producing and directing this movie. And I had it as a question today, but I think it's also been confirmed that he's going to be half of the writing team with, of course, Dave Filoni filling the other half, which is no surprise. I've done the whole series. So, Oti, let's start right there. Like I mentioned, we talked about this on our last episode last year. Are they confusing season four with the movie? I mean, with the Dave Filoni movie, this really can be happening. The actors are saying they're going back. They're really excited for season four. And before we start breaking it down, are, we, are you still in the same boat? Like, this doesn't make a lot of sense for, I guess, what we were expecting Lucasfilm to be doing at this point. I, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's a great way to start the year with a big sigh. Yeah. Um, I I think I've made it make sense. Mm-hmm. I, I'll be, like, extremely honest. I don't love this idea. Um, I think it's super weird. <laughs> I don't think it's going to go the way Mm -hmm. Disney and Lucasfilm may think it's going to go, but I'm just a guy in an (laughs) island in the middle of the Caribbean. Like, what the hell do I know? So um, am I excited for it? I I don't know. I'm like cautiously Mm -hmm. optimistic about it. Will I be there day one yeah, for showing? Exactly. Yes, yeah. and probably day two and day three um, <laughs> because it's a Star Wars movie. I'm mm-hmm. going to be excited to be going to a theater to watch a Star Wars movie. But there, there's like a lot of things going through my head when I think about this. So I'm like all over the place with it. All right. So we'll get into I was, again, I have even my notes. Still weird, but I'm excited because it's a Star Wars movie. Uh, no matter what some people out there thought of season three, Mandalorian, it's always been exciting. I like watching the episodes. It's always, always an exciting time. And to see that in the big screen, seeing and uh, hearing the, the theme come up. We're all going to lose it. What's this story going to be? Is this going to be straight from the end of season three? And we'll talk about that while we think, not what the story is, but because right now you can say, but it doesn't make sense to make, make a movie. The story ended, there's not connecting anything. Or it, you can say it, it's actually the perfect way to start a movie because it can just be a brand new adventure. That's where, that's like my first thought. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's funny because when season three ended, people were like, this felt like a serious finale, yeah. not a season mm-hmm. finale. So now like this being like a new start, in the theater that kind of makes sense and i'll make a point that i think a lot of people maybe think about it but maybe maybe not there's a lot of star wars fans like big star wars fans that will go to the theater when a new episode something comes out and will watch it with their Mm -hmm. whole family that don't watch the mandalorian yeah and i think a lot of people when dave's movie comes out eventually they would have been like, oh, this is the conclusion to that show I haven't watched a single episode of. Mm-hmm. So maybe they'll skip it. And this could some in some way be a way to maybe introduce people who only go to the theater to watch Star Wars to The Mandalorian, catch them up with what the story has been so far. Sure. And send them into Dave Filoni's movie, whatever that comes out. <laughs> but on the other side, I know a lot of people who don't watch The Mandalorian who will be like, oh, that's the movie for the TV show I don't watch. So <laughs> I'm not going to watch it. It's, I mean, it's two things. And I mentioned it last time and someone dropped a spoon or something. Um, this doesn't seem to me like the big return to the theaters for Star Wars, right? It's going to be at this point. If this comes out 2026, which is what most people expect, May 2026, it's going to be like seven years since uh, Rise of Skywalker. This isn't the return to the big screen for Lucasfilm for me. But even like um, Alan mentioned when he was here, all the time he spends at, at Disneyland, all the grandmas and all those people with their Grogu shirts, their baby Yoda, they know who that is, even if they haven't watched all three seasons. And even the title, if they stick with The Mandalorian and Grogu, which I think is a horrible title, 
Well, that's what the general people that don't see every Star Wars. Oh, yeah, let's go see that movie with the Mandalorian and Grogu. They'll know that. Even if they put Hidden Empire or whatever. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to watch it. So the name for the average viewer out there, they'll understand it. What movie you want to watch? Oh, the one with Grogu and that Mando guy. They'll get it. It sucks. It's, it's a it's, terrible it's name, gonna, but I hope they change it. It's going to be Star Wars, the Mandalorian, and Grogu Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I, I'll say this: I, I honestly don't like many Star Wars titles. <laughs> yeah, why? Well, do you remember that Solo's title reveal? Like, oh, here's the title. Oh, it's <laughs> exactly what we thought it was going to yeah. be. Yeah, <laughs> I think people were, oh, it can't be Solo, or it's going to be Han Solo. It's like it's so dumb. No, it's just Solo. <laughs> oh, so speaking of uh, the adventures of the Mandalorian, Grogu, whatever, is this the first of a trilogy? With Filoni's movie being either the second one and then a conclusion as the third one, or Filoni's movie, the third one, there's something in between. That I'm thinking this is going to be a trilogy of this Mando universe. I think this is the way this is going to play out. I think this movie is going to come out depending on when it starts to hmm. shoot. It could even come out next year. Like, again, depending on whenever that movie starts to shoot. If it yeah. starts to shoot on December, I don't think they'll make it to next year. But... If it starts to shoot like in the spring, maybe. Yeah. Um, they so, said it's going to start this year. I think or at least production. But, but yeah, I don't know. But, but that's what I say. It depends on mm -hmm. when they start doing it. But yeah. we could realistically get it, get this movie December next year. Um. So then the year after that, we may get the Ray movie. And then the year after that, we get the mm -hmm. Dave Filoni movie. So it's like two years in between these two movies, just like we had with the sequel trilogy. Yeah, so it could kind of make sense. So a lot of people have been kind of speculating, like we're doing today, that there's a Star Wars film kind of ready for May 2026, and then another for December. But I know we all know that with the actors no, and the no, writers' no. strike, everything got pushed. And some people think that this is coming May 26, and then the Ray movie December 26. I'm really hoping they don't do that. Nah, Give it time I, to breathe. It's I really More like confusion, the that's not one a year um, yeah. Star Wars movie. Um, if they do two a year, I'll, that's not like the thing. I'll be there, like, <laughs> and I'll be happy. Like, it's not like I'll yeah. be oh, a Star Wars movie. <laughs> but I, I like the one year wait. I don't know. Mm. I, I love Star Wars, but I also love my time away from Star Wars. Yeah, what I'm getting tired of. And again, like you said, at the end of the day, I'm just a fan. It doesn't matter. It's every time the big wigs come on TV or on their little conventions, is we're taking a break. We're pausing this. We're pausing that. We're going to give it time to breathe. Oh, yeah, yeah, here's an unannounced movie that's actually coming like right now. Like, didn't we just go through this? I mean, we put in a break on it. Yeah, yeah, but now we got a what if uh, animated series. But, Where's the break? Where's the time to let things breathe and make it special instead of just push, push, push? Like, hey, but yeah, let, yeah, yeah. let's hold the what if thing for, for a minute. Yeah, no, it's, it's not an, an official yeah. announcement or anything. Yes, um, um, but yeah, it again, it my biggest fear with this, and again, by the way, a studio rush movie can still be good. Like a, a movie with a ton of production issues can still be good. It doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. But my yeah. biggest fear here is that like Disney had a horrible box office year, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Ah, I need a Star Wars movie." <laughs> um, that made a billion dollars, right? It's gonna do it again. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Favreau, go get your movie, turn your season into a movie. Let's do it right now. Um, but uh, uh, the you know the other side of that is like. Favreau has the standing to be like, you know yeah. what? I want to make a movie. And Kevin mm -hmm. Kennedy be like, hey, um, Bob, <laughs> John wants to make a movie. Okay, let him make it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we we don't know. We don't know how those conversations went. All happened. right. So so last thing, I guess last thing on this. To I'll as I say this, I'm I don't know if it's my side, your side again. You're you're lagging a little bit, at least. Whatever, just with people out there, they know. Audio is fine. But let's talk about this that you mentioned and everyone's thinking about it. It's season four, is this? Is it gonna be a short season, which is what I thought first. We'll get a four to six episode season four, 
that will lead into the movie. Or is season four either scrap or coming after the movie? Do you think season four is still up for grabs? Or do you think, yeah, it's just you know, the movie's coming afterwards? Or I don't know. It's again, it's uh, different. The I don't know, different voices out there because we all expected that season season four to start shooting soon. And now now they're gonna start doing the movie at some point this year. It's, I don't know. I mean, I don't think they'll do the movie and season four within a year of each other. Like okay. I, 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 this is what I think. Mm-hmm. Again, this is just based on what I think. I don't have knowledge or read anything. It's just me. I think Disney hopes this movie is a massive hit, mm-hmm. and they can scrap the show and just okay. turn this into a movie franchise. We'll see. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they start kind of slowing down the TV side of Star Wars and just focus on the movies, because you said it 20,000 times on this show, Lucasfilm is a movie studio, but also know how much they love Disney Plus and want that to be a hit, so I don't think they'll kind of push everything. But I think The Mandalorian is kind of coming to an end as a TV show, and maybe just a couple of movies to end it makes sense with them. But that's where I'm coming from. Um, Movie studios sunk billions of dollars into these (laughs) platforms um and they have not paid the return they Mm -hmm. wish it did and now it's cost mitigating mitigating time like disney plus has existed for what like five years now oh yeah i think yeah late 2019 so Mm -hmm. like almost five years i think like if it still hasn't turned the profit they want it the writings on the wall they're not gonna be like let's give it five more years and yeah. see if we finally like break the formula like i think they're gonna start I, I, again i don't think streaming is going away i just don't think it's gonna be what it is right now and i hope it isn't because right now i'm i hate a lot of it for the reason that we came into streaming it's you know, moving the other way and i hate i just my just saw my apple tv go up 50 percent from when i signed up it's like you should be five dollars and paying twelve now with taxes. Anyway, that's a separate conversation. Before we move to our next topic, I know the chat is going wild. Who's out there? What are some comments on this I, Mandalorian movie? I was surprised. Um, Buck is in the chat. Is... Buck, how are you doing, yeah. Buck? Thanks for joining us today. Buck accidentally wrote from another account, <laughs> which I won't show because he was like, "I hope you didn't see it." Oh, mm-hmm. It's fine, Buck. Um, Buck is saying that teachers were, uh, you know, at, at work, uh, people were excited and happy for the sure. Mando and Grogu news. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure like a lot of people, I, I, I saw Twitter, like a lot of people <laughs> were excited. And they were, this is the right move. And I'm like, mm. yeah. I'm over here in my corner, like, really? But, yeah. Like, again, what the hell do I know? Mm-hmm. Uh, Alan is saying that Disney needs the new audience. There's a lot of layoffs coming at yeah. Pixar, so Mando and Grogu seems like the easier, familiar. Yeah, that's true. And look, look who's here. Roberto. Hey, Roberto. How are you doing, Roberto? And look who just got here. Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hello there. Thanks for everyone for joining us today. Again, it doesn't make sense for us, but I think for a lot of people out there that are not doing a Star Wars podcast every week, yeah, yeah, I know those guys. I love Baby Grogu. Let me let's take my kids to watch it. I think it'll make I, move. I mean, money. I don't think it's gonna make a billion dollars. I, I just we'll, we'll get them on the right track, I guess. And another concern I have: I really hope this movie doesn't cost three hundred million dollars. Oh, that's the main thing, yeah. Like, but I also don't want it to be like a an hour and a half Star Wars movie with no <laughs> like. I, I, I like Star Wars movies to feel big. I don't know. <laughs> I contradict myself, but whatever. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I love the Marvels. It shouldn't have cost three hundred million dollars. It's new. Nope. Yeah, go. Same thing with Solo with all the reshoots. Three hundred million. Indiana Jones cost like five hundred million dollars to make. Like, who in the right mind, Greenland?